Welcome to the after party. Today is day two of the Annapolis Boat Show. This is definitely like get together sailing mecca right, right now. Yes. Sorry, the dogs are in need of attention. They are incredibly spoiled since we both become full time with YouTube because we hang out with them all day every day. So the fact that we weren't home today is appalling to them. We got invited to participate with the YouTuber booth and to have meet and greet time and it's just been crazy. What did you say? What was your phrase earlier? You felt like you got... Oh, I felt like I got beat with the humbled stick. <laughs> that's what it feels like. We see the emails, we see the comments, but it doesn't really sink in as much. But that's the thing is that we thought it had. This whole year of being on YouTube, we felt so grateful for the people watching our videos. And we felt so connected with the emails and the comments. That's how we felt going into the boat show with this excitement to meet you guys. And then we got there and it was just such a, like, uh, Eye opening. I didn't know how much meeting so many of you would impact me emotionally. Yeah. Man, it's been everything. Over the last year, it's been a hard year for so many people, and we've gotten emails that have, like, it doesn't make any sense. We, you know, we're just here, we're just living our life and filming it and doing the boat, and, we, and it's our dream, and it's fun, and then we share it, and and that's it for, like, you know, that's how it feels for us. Like, that's it. But then we've got people that are like. That tell us that we're literally changing their life. We're like, right? just we're... so grateful. Like, right. That we got them through COVID or. Um, Whatever the hard time is. Yeah, or right. like when they were sick in the hospital. Or, you know, like I've very briefly and vaguely shared my struggles with autoimmune disease. And so uh, people come up and tell me like, man, I'm like, it's so emotional. <laughs> You don't have people tell me that when they're hurting and having a hard day, they get out of bed because they think about me working on the boat even when I was really sick. And, <laughs> and it's just like, it's just this, these are not new things people have said to us over the last few months, but being here today and meeting people in person. It's just more real. <laughs> it's, it's, we, we can feel it more. I think yesterday and today, it's just been heavier. Yeah. It's so much more real and like, yeah. which is crazy because I felt like it was real before. This whole conversation just now is actually super off track for what we were planning this video to be. And then the boat show happened and we've just got all of these emotions tonight. We were both crying, driving home from the boat show. We were gonna go to like the after party stuff with some of our friends and instead we got takeout and just came home because I felt like we needed to just process it all. Yeah. Wow. So anyways, oh. if you're here, if you made it, Thank you. Thanks for stopping us. Thanks for shouting across the way. Thanks for giving the, the hugs and the high fives and the selfies and stopping by the booths and saying hi to us. and being so kind. Yeah. Okay, camera battery died. We're good. This one isn't all the way to... Oh, it is all the way. Okay, we're enough. good. Enough. It's charged sure. enough. I think we can get through without it dying. The whole point of this video is that we really just wanted to do kind of behind the scenes. Our videos are a very small percentage of what actually have, even in time lapse. We've got like so many minutes in a week but then we have a 20 minute video and so it's just such a small percentage of the actual minutes that we're living our life and going through the project all of the work and the time and the events that go into a week when we show the projects we want to share and have you get a grasp for like what's involved and what's going on but strictly for the example of the last couple of weeks the last couple of weeks have been insanely intense with the projects and we just had the cameras rolling for basically two weeks straight but then we go through and we edit the footage things that don't end up in the videos is like the paint drying this project was a lot of paint drying and you look at the consequences of that like the lifestyle consequences so we couldn't use this area of the house for so long we didn't have batteries for so long and you look at those areas and those are the things that don't end up in the video we had a small break because the camera overheated, but we took the dogs out to a run, so now they're chilling. Am I in the frame? Yeah, you're in the frame. Cool. Okay, backing up, us right now sitting on the counter. This is incredibly real time. We'll post this video in just a couple of days. But all of our other videos that are about to come out in the next couple of weeks are also, I would consider real time because they were filmed in only yeah. just like the last couple of weeks. We just did a ton in a very short amount of time. The projects over the last few weeks, they were projects we needed to get done yep. in time to make it here for the show. 
to get all these projects done, to get in the boat, to complete our first passage, to get to the Annapolis Boat Show, that is a lot of planning and a lot of logistics. This has to happen, then this can happen, then this can happen, and this can't happen until this date, which means, so it's, it's a lot of that, which is real life, like that's, that's, that's normal and life, that happens. Something you might not know about Brett is that he is a master comparison shopper. It drives me crazy a little bit, but Brett will spend <laughs> the just the right amount of time. The absolute right amount of time. Picking whatever the item is. We're on day seven million of planning the battery project. And this is totally the back inside of the project that you guys never see. So this is just a glimpse. A lot of planning and a lot of research and a lot of planning and research again. And if you're Brett, multiple weeks of comparison shopping. How long do you think we've been going at this? So much research ahead of time with a million tabs in Excel sheets and notes and price comparison to get, okay, this is how much it is. This is what you're getting for that price and what's the best for your money? What's the best for what we want? It's gonna have this application, this application, and we can't forget that later it's gonna be connected to this other system and it's, it's this whole network. Like I'm surprised he doesn't need a server for his own brain for the amount of product information. You know so much about all those things because you spend so much time researching them. And that's something... So, so was that a compliment? Yes. Oh, okay, thanks. Okay, so that's the umbrella. That's the overarching theme. Let's talk a little bit more specifically about these projects. It's three main projects. Finishing the battery box, doing the battery install with all the new batteries, and then also the countertops. Those were pretty much all done concurrently. And we kind of had a pretty good schedule of how things were gonna look and how we could make those all work in such a small period of time at the same time. And a lot of that had to do with set times. While something was drying, we'd work on something else. There's a lot of interweaving. Some things were during the day, some were during the night. There are times where we had to leave the boat because it wasn't safe to be in here. We're doing our batteries and electrical system, which means for some period of time, there's going to have to be no power on the boat. And the first time we did this, we were on the hard. Right. And so we were able to run extension cords from the from the yard, and I had so many extension cords coming in, and I kept tripping their circuits yeah, the because <laughs> it was getting cold, and so I had all these extension cords co coming in and then plugged into heaters for that cure time. We're on anchor. What's going to happen to the boat while we're doing the projects. What we figured made the most sense for how we wanted to do it was, was... to kind of get a miniature set of what we're making. Yes. So we got a smaller portable version of what we're doing on a big scale. This and is after the comparison shopping. Yes. This is after the comparison shopping. And the logistic planning. The next step, so going in order, the next step was so yep. we decided what we wanted. So then you emailed Jackery. And I told them what we're doing, told them what we need. And they said, absolutely, we're on board. Let's do this. We didn't know it, but Jackery's anniversary was coming up and they're about to launch a huge campaign for their products. This is the way that we were able to manage the project. This is the Jackery Explorer 500. That's 500 watts that it can put out and a 100 watt solar panel. It looks so good. There's no batteries, but we're cooking rice. Somehow we're pulling 540 watts from this 500 unit. Yes. Don't tell Jackery. <laughs> <laughs> I think for the next little while, some, some of these clips that you'll see are only possible because we had this. That's a really good point. Yeah. Is that the Jackery made the vlogging possible to charge our camera batteries so we could film the projects and then we were able to keep the computer on so that we could edit the videos for the project. So the Jackery battery pack, I'm gonna edit. We are on a crossing right now and I wanna be out here with Brett hanging out, but we don't have an outlet. So this is gonna fill the need. Were there other ways of doing it? Yes, we do have a generator. Some of the time, it would have been safe to run the generator, but it would have been, could you imagine running the generator to like charge your cell phone? Like we, have a, yeah. we have a seven and a half kilowatt generator. Part of that logistic planning is figuring out which way works the best for us in our situation. And in this case, this made the most sense. And all the comparisons, I mean, you've used Jackery forever. Yeah. Like you've had, you've had Jackery in your life longer than you've had me in your life. It's accurate. They sent it to us about two months ago because we wanted to have enough time to actually try it out before we did any work with them. And that was all leading up to their anniversary sale because it's their ninth anniversary this October, this right, right now. now. Current time, it's their ninth anniversary. And so they're doing one of their biggest sales of all time. So from October 18th to October 20th, they're doing a 15% off site-wide massive anniversary sale. So it's good for emergencies or camping. Great for that's, camping. That's the other application we've used it for is van life and camp. 
It's apparently a large flashlight. <laughs> We just got a text from Duca and Roberta from Odd Life Crafting. They're staying with us, and we were really needing a break tonight, so we didn't go to the party after the show, but they did. But apparently they're also needing a little bit of more sleep tonight, so they just texted us and wanted us to come get them. So we'll go pick them up. We and... would tell them to just come themselves, but we had the dinghy. So... And the car. Yeah. So we're going to go get them. So we'll them. go get them. We'll and be back. We'll, keep, we'll continue the conversation. Yes. Minute. Stand by. Thanks so much, really appreciate it. I have no voice anymore. I need to go to bed. We have lozenges to give you a cough drop. Oh, man. oh we, you do have a cough drop. Yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna do all the way to the end of the boat show. <laughs> Way too excited. I'm like ready to go to bed. Did you guys have a good day? We didn't see you all day. Yeah. Today. That was great. Today. Great day. So we went to. <laughs> the next one surprise. Uh, uh, we're finally home. <laughs> you were at home already. Oh, yeah, sorry, to be right. honest, yeah, I'm just gonna. We get home today. Yeah. Penny, Penny. <laughs> oh, you work, you work. Kick your foot. Kick your foot. Kick your foot. Can you repeat how excited you were? <laughs> I <laughs> was like to see which one do I want. I want okay, so this one, the white one makes your mouth this numb. This one will make your tongue numb. It's weird. <laughs> a little bit. It's, Maybe it's good. It feels good, I'm but gonna it's try a little this one first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Either it's plugged in the outlet or solar panel up there. Yeah. Because so, mm -hmm. it's just like where you take it to the beach. Okay. We've been babbling on forever before we went and got these guys, but to fill you guys in, we've been doing a video talking about what happens behind the scenes that don't make it in the video with the projects. So like all of the research and comparison shopping and like figuring out where you're going to be to do the, the all the planning and logistics that you don't really film because it's mostly like on a computer or on the phone, right? Yeah. Yeah. Do you feel like, do you feel like that's your experience too? Is there a lot of that for you guys? All day long, every day. <laughs> yeah. It's just like... Most of the time we do that. The filming part is just a small part of the whole. Finishing up, behind the scenes there's a ton of planning. And every project has its own ins and outs and hoops and challenges. And what you guys don't usually get to see is the amount of hours that we put in. Probably, oh, I saw Uma said once it's like 70% planning and 30% project. That's like probably that's about pretty, right. Yeah, that's, that's accurate. accurate. That's yeah. accurate, yeah. So we'll second that. Yeah. They got that right. They just... They thirded it. And then you have like 50% editing, so it's 150%. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for editing? Yeah. This isn't a... This is a 150% lifestyle for sure. Yeah. Hey, guys. Hey. Here's the rest of the party. Yeah. Hey. hey. You guys have a good night? with the, uh, the Lagoon people with Colin from Parlay. <laughs> you just, you're such a jealous Dingo little... waking you up this morning was so cute. Oh my god, I loved it. Just she pull in and pull kisses. Went... I'm just recording the excitement about the cup. Yes. <laughs> so like, no, we went to the everywhere. shop and it sold know, yeah. out. We... Your voice is gone. Your cool. voice is cool. gone. Hey, I'm done. And we still have how many days? Three days? That was worse. Yeah, we're, we're almost right, halfway. Uh, Tomorrow I'm, I'm, I'm gonna create a so sign, I cannot there, talk. Right. <laughs> get the get the pedicure done. And, yeah. Hey, yeah. somebody wants to. Yeah, I don't know. We're filming a video this morning. Is that um? Uh, I'm also a little bit jealous because, you know. Because I always pick the best thing and you don't. No, because I'm needy for attention. Oh, funny. I mean, a comparison shop. You. Got the best one. And sometimes, you know, you gotta wait till the right deal comes along. <laughs> oh, you made me, you made, you actually made me blush. <laughs> <laughs>